I thought since I was called a level five stalker, I might maybe look it up, see what it means. Came up in the Urban Dictionary, stalker levels. Way of measuring the creepiness of a stalker. I hear I'm creepy. On a scale from one to 10, from being with 10 being the creepiest. I'm only a five, so I'm not the creepiest. To break it down. Okay, so we're gonna break this down. One to three is non-threatening stalker. Might be creepy, but not always. Unlikely to force a meeting or a conversation between themselves and the stalky. Well, if you take the creepy part, unlikely to force a meeting, I don't want to meet you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't really have anything to do with you. I only want to speak about the things that you do that I find offensive and it's my opinion that if I think you're offensive, then you're offensive. It's other people's opinion to decide whether I'm right or you're offensive. <laughs> so we have that. Level four to six has the potential to seek the stocky out. I have no I don't care where you live. You're American, by the way, and I'm not even in the same country. And the last person we want to visit are Americans. COVID-19, you know? So don't worry yourself about it. Uh, where were we? There's no middle ground on this stalker level. For those stalk stalkers have motives that you aren't sure of. Okay. My only motive is to warn people about you because you don't stop. Call it my mission, call it whatever, inspiration. You inspire me to make videos, to counteract the bullshit that comes out of your mouth and the lies and the name calling and the degrading of people. And so if that makes me creepy, then I guess I'm creepy. A level four to six, that's where I fit in. I have the potential, ooh, but I have the, might have the potential and the means, but it's not gonna happen. You are the last person on this God's green earth that I would ever want to meet in person. I would never ever run in your circles. I would never be able to have a conversation with you in person because of your mouth. We don't even fit in the same hemisphere. So literally I'm on the outside looking in on you and you're a piece of trash. That's all you are. And that's my thoughts on Laura. But I can't say her name because she's going to take down my channel like she did Lorraine and send her purple army over to me because I have an opinion of her because she's on the internet every day for the last nine months. I think she might have missed maybe one day every day for hours and she calls me creepy <laughs> this woman has not stopped hollering at people for nine months listen to her nine months she's been screaming at the top of her lungs at everybody but she can't handle a little opinion from rosewater is the name I know you can't say it, you don't want to say it, but rose water. I got rose out of you. I suppose that's, that's good. That's all I, that's good for now. Are you going to stop me from making videos? How are you going to stop me from making videos? You can't. You take me down and you'll look like a complete hypocrite. 
because you know Laura does Laura can handle a little criticism right Laura Laura doesn't threaten people Laura doesn't call everybody that has a different opinion of her or opinion on the content that she literally puts out herself and you're not allowed to speculate on that and say hey that's kind of wrong you know that poor kid yeah it's a kid anyway whatever so I'm a level five psychopath oh psycho bitch sorry and she's afraid that I will come and get her don't worry about that and she has a gun which we all know because she keeps telling everybody she has one God help the cable man don't surprise her in the dark um, I'm not going to show up with a knife and I'm invested in her life I'm not actually invested in her life because I forget the videos as soon as I put them up <laughs> like I don't keep you carried around with me seriously I don't so if you want to call me evil and creepy then you go right ahead because we all know what you are 